Hi, my name is Ian, and let's comment about the world. So, yes, Doctor Who again with an episode called Hungry Earth. And yeah, it's all about the Silurians. So, I just watched it finally because I have a bad, naughty computer that keeps failing on me every time I'm watching the episode. So, <laughs> any. The first thing I've noticed is the wibbly wibbly timey wimey thing with Amy and Rory being 10 years in the future, waving at their 10 years in the past selves. I don't know what that thing is, but no. I like it. Now, Doctor Who stories, the, uh, the novels and audio books always have that timey wimey wobbly wobbly aspect. Runaway Train has that timey wimey wobbly wobbly aspect accent aspect but that's another commentary um i'd like to say during today because they're more human like s for me okay perfectly said lorians they're okay they're like iwi and gawky but they're fitting to be a silurian um the wars of the deep silurian should fuck it you know how I gleefully hate the Warriors of the Deep Silurians. This Silurians, however, it's merged humanist, makeup y kind of thing. It's okay for me, but I don't know other fans. Other fans want it less human esque cat people, more like mass, um, evil. I'm beyond myself. Anywho, why do we have a kid with dyslexia? Okay, people with dyslexia, I know it's a struggle to never even read anything. But are they doing a PSA? Please, no. Um, Mrs. Chaldry, I forgot her real name, but I know her from Girl in the Attic. I like her. When she was still the girl in the attic, not the future, she had that point tail that looked uh, for me. Future Rani. She was Future Rani, the girl in the attic. Um, I'm, I'm rambling. Anywho. Yes, it's still the team of we came here first. We have the right. Again, allude to the BNP and all the neo Nazi, fascists, whatevers in the world. Um, bit of a quote with Sherlock Holmes. I don't know why. Oh, and in the future, they say they're using the police box as a pod system. So, yeah, because Rory was being mistaken for DCI. Very like Mars. Oh, Anywho, the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger was great. It's not, oh, everybody's gonna die. Or, oh, if we're in the trap, we cannot escape anymore, or oh, the weeping angels are gonna kill us, we're all gonna be trapped, blah 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 blah. It's less more of that, and it's more intriguing, because the next episode, you've kind of said, whoa, with that cliffhanger, what's gonna happen, kind of cliffhanger. Um, the Silurians, the Silurians, the girls, uh, uh, something I forgot her name <gasps> I hate myself but she is fearful she is fierce she is fierce um, next episode I'm hoping more hmm. my name is Ian and let's wait before I go if you saw the trailer that room is thing it's the same room that they used for end of the earth the Christopher Eccleston story. Okay, the people who are finding the sets and locations should get their uh, fix. Because I'm seeing a set redundancy, and I don't want set redundancy in Doctor Who. Okay, my name is Ian, and I just comment about the world.